Hey, this is Rayban coming to you live from Hyenas in Fort Worth, Texas, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Fort Worth, let's make some fucking noise. Wow, look, it's Brian Redman, everybody. Hey, guys. Heck yeah, a little tight squeeze for me tonight in Fort Worth. <laughs> Been eating a lot of barbecue today, as you could tell by the table shift there. <laughs> Heck yeah. Are you excited about this, Fort Worth? We're back. It's Kill Tony. Fort Worth. Last time was a goddamn humdinger little rodeo, like a night out in the stockyards. You know what I'm saying, people? Like a fucking hangout at Billy Bob's. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. There's some fucking real white trash in here. I like it. This is my kind of party. This is where we meet the fun people out here on the fucking real road where you can see bisons everywhere, <laughs> things like that. I enjoyed the day. Brian, you chilled out in the hotel room, right? Sure did. Jeremiah and I went to Burgers Lake, huh? Fuck yeah. Damn right, had the cheeseburger there so I could shit my pants at any point <laughs> during the show. Went down some water slides. We just had some of the best uh, local pizza that we've ever had. Uh, yeah, incredible. Thank a shout out to Domino's Pizza. <laughs> for, uh, every place we go to around the country, the one thing on our little thing is a, a, a pe large pepperoni pizza from whatever the staff's favorite p local pizza place is. That's the, that's what it says on the piece of paper that the venues get. This is the first time ever, anywhere in the country in which we got delivered a Domino's pizza. Yeah. Fort Worth. Not known for their Italian cuisine, obviously. But how about a hand for hyenas? This is my favorite club here in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Plano. If we could get the two people next to the camera away from the camera, that would be great. I just noticed somebody just sat next to the table and the, t the little table rocked. Uh, it's, yeah, probably it's, just a, it's probably just an innocent comedian of some kind. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're scurrying away like rats. Yes. yes, keep them away. We have a broomstick that perhaps we could sweep people away with back there. Yeah. Uh, did anyone from last night's show uh, come here tonight? Like, wow. Wow, what a great turnout. Heck yeah, we got that guy. Look at this fucking guy right here. What did, were, you, were you on the show last time? Houston. Houston. Yeah. Did you sign up tonight? God, do I hope you get pulled out of the bucket. I sort of remember. Oh my God, I do remember you yes. from Houston. Oh, shit. Come on, let's hope this bucket's lucky tonight. Yes. Uh, as with all of our road shows, we're going guestless tonight, and uh, we do have part of the band, not the entire band, but we do have uh, what I think a lot of people would say is the best part of the band. Oh. Whoa. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just that he's been along the longest. He turned the band into a goddamn fucking machine. He's the leader of the band. Every single episode, he commits to being a different character. Last night in Plano, my God, was he George W. Bush. And it was just <laughs> so great. Unbelievable. It made me remember how much I love that president. You know? Yeah. <laughs> one, of the, one of the good ones. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I never know what he's going to be or do. Maybe it's a new character like George W. Bush. Maybe it's the return of someone famous character. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, put your hands together for him. It's the best damn band in the land. Jeremiah Watkins, the leader of the Kill Tony band. From Reagan and Watkins fame. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Get out of here. What is this? Oh my goodness, thank you, a six shot venti. Wow. <laughs> my goodness, are you a Starbucks barista? Uh, yes, my name is Aubrey. I am a man. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Aubrey, this is your first time ever on Kill Tony. No, you have a bad memory. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my 
goodness. That's okay. I'm very forgettable. That's why I haven't been promoted yet. That's okay. Wow. Well, Aubrey, the Starbucks barista. So yeah. Yep. ASM for the last 13 years. Haven't been promoted. Am I a little bit bitter? Maybe, but I don't know. Just keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> and you work here in a Texas, you work in a real Texas Starbucks? Uh-huh. Right here in Fort Worth. Yeah. Yeah. You ever run into any trouble there at any of those Starbucks? Uh, one time, a homeless man threw a banana at the window at me and thought the window was going to shatter, and it did not. And I said, uh, see you later. <laughs> wow, Aubrey. You are something else. I'm excited to drink this coffee. We got Aubrey. We got Red Band. Uh, this brings me to this, the amazing, uh, uh, super forgettable Fort Worth bucket of destiny. Uh, it appears to be the same... That's yep. so much DNA I, on I it. I actually brought that ice bucket from Starbucks. Oh, thank you, Aubrey. Aren't you a sweet thing? Yeah. A lot of people signed up tonight, clearly just from the guy in seat 1A. You could tell there's a lot of eclectic characters here. I'm excited to see what could possibly happen. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted on this stage. You know your time is up and you're the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry rainbow lounge bear. It's so loud. It's incredibly loud. Uh, so yeah, the Rainbow Lounge burned down a year or two ago is what I was told, but they said it would still be the gayest reference possible. <laughs> That's real Texas shit for you. Like, well, we burned down the gay bar a year ago, but you could use that reference. How's your, how's your pizza? <laughs> Not good. It's Domino's. Uh, the entrance way is right there, so if you get pulled up, you get 60 seconds, then we talk to you more about your life, find out what the hell's interesting about you and what, what's it, what, what it's like being a man named Cody from the uh, southern plains of Texas. Uh, a lot of Cody's. Yeah. A lot of Cody's around these parts. We had a couple Cody's last night. We had a Colt. I wonder why. A lot of NASCAR shit goes uh, on around here. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's very, uh, I don't know I don't know why that is. There's something like, maybe it's on like Mountain Dew boxes or something like that. Like why? You guys excited about this show tonight? <laughs> All right. Sometimes I got to make sure. I'm going to pull a name out of the bug and this shit's going to go down. Let's see how, for last time we were in Fort Worth, it was fucking crazy. Let's see if we can match its uh, powers here tonight. Put your hands together for your first comedian. He goes by the name of Connor Kokora, everybody. <laughs> Here we go, it has begun. It has begun. Here he comes, sure, come on up. Here he is. Connor Kakora, everybody. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name's Connor. It's an Irish name, it means dog lover. Just a good guess on my mom's part, because how could she have known before I was born that that'd be my fetish? <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been practicing intermittent fasting or as I like to call it, poverty? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Leave it to the millennials to take something totally endemic and make it marketable. I asked my friend if I could borrow his flashlight. He, sa <laughs> he said, no, nah, dude, that, that shit's old, it's dirty. I said, mm, are you sure it's not mature? <laughs> Come on, man, let me use it. He's like, no, nah, you're making me uncomfortable. Get the fuck out of here, go fuck yourself. I'm trying to go fuck myself. But my only friend with a fake pussy is being a real douche right now. That's all I got, everybody. Thank you very much. There you go. 55 seconds from Connor Kokora. Hey. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. First time on the show, right? First time on the show. You're an adorable little guy, aren't you? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You, you look like the new version of the Child's Play doll. <laughs> Fresh out in theaters right now. You have some type of very Australian haircut. It's uh, <laughs> longer on the sides than it is at the top. Is Theo Vaughn one of your inspirations? That's right. Yeah, honestly. Well, uh, So, Connor, hey, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Um, since January. Since January. Yeah. It's so specific. What happened in January that you started then? New Year's resolution? You could say that. I like I how you bobbed your head back. Mm, and, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's something I've always been interested in trying, and I thought it'd be a good skill to try and work what on. What have you been? How old are you? Uh, 24. What have you been doing with your entire life? What are you known for? Uh, I'm in a band in Denton, Denton, Texas. Denton. Yeah. Hell yeah. A lot of fans of a lot of woos out there. <laughs> Denton. What are they known yeah. for? Uh, hipsters. Really? 
Yeah, the jazz program at the University of North Texas is pretty uh, interesting. Are slapping. you? Do you consider yourself a hipster? What do you do I for work? I'm an Uber driver. An Uber driver. That's pretty hip. And I uh, <laughs> recently started helping my dad do. He does like traffic accident reconstruction. Oh. So when lawyers like need to fight for your dead. Yeah. Relevant. Are you one of the accidents that he reconstructs? <laughs> No, he's actually my stepfather. Oh, jeez, yeah. wow. <laughs> Shots yeah. fired over here. Oh <laughs> what happened to your real dad? Uh, he was an Air Force uh, that's pilot. That's him beeping. He's waiting for you outside right now. <laughs> he's waiting for you to come back to the uh, car. He, did you say he was an Air Force pilot? Yeah, he's retired now. Oh, he's retired. Oh, thank yeah. goodness. You said, he, you said he was an Air Force pilot like he flew into one of the buildings at 9-11 <laughs> or something like that. It doesn't really make sense, but... Uh, yeah, so now he's retired, and how, how old were you when your parents divorced? They were never together. Oh, yeah. ooh la la. That so. is what my wife said about me. <laughs> <laughs> is that true, Aubrey? You're married? Uh, well, you know, happily, I say we're married. She said, I, I still wear the wedding ring. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's a long story, it's, you know. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you know what they say at Starbucks, you know, leave everything at the door. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So, Connor, what do you do for fun? You're 24 years old. You're an Uber driver. You're, you're bored with your stepdad. <laughs> right? What yeah. else? What's Man, your What's your I'm real a, release? I'm in a band with my friends. Oh, yeah? What yeah. type of band? It's like an emo math rock kind of band. Wow. Uh, anything on Spotify? Yes. What's the name of your band? Genius Christ. Genius Christ? <laughs> oh, my God. What an asshole band you guys are. <laughs> Now, Genius I, I can tell you for sure we will not be allowed to play your music at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? Hell yeah. What do you do in this band? I play guitar and I sing. Wow. Can you sing along with this song for us? Fuck yeah. We lose yourself in it. Here we go. A little bit of Genius Christ. Live from Hyenas in Fort Worth. If you like this comedy, you'll love maybe something else that he does. Here he is, Genius Christ. Like a vinyl record, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. With every scratch on the surface and the dust in the grooves. Over and over again, you spin me around. And I repeat myself into the ground. Oh, my God. The crowd loves it. Pretty the crowd good. goes wild. To me, you sounded like if 311 worked at 7-Eleven. Uh, <laughs> I was just sad in one tone. If you ever <laughs> been there, <laughs> then you will see. It's like very like simple, almost like Texas beach music. The type of yeah. thing you, you know, you'd go to Galveston and chop up a body and listen to. <laughs> Everything is happy. Get rid of the body. <laughs> Genius Christ, one of the least humble names in all of music. <laughs> right. Yeah. Did you come up with that? No. No one we don't know who came up with you it. You got so stoned you don't even know who came up with the well, yeah, I mean, name we were, of your own band. Yeah, we were on tour with another band in a previous band and we were just riffing on Jesus Christ, like who can make a funny pun and that was it. Well, oh God, I guess if that's what you consider a funny pun, then yeah. uh, <laughs> you foreshadowed your entire uh, comedy career. Started in January. That, by the way, Started in January is a better band name than Genius <laughs> Christ. <laughs> hey, everybody, we're starting in January. If you've ever heard of <laughs> then you will know. Did you really try to borrow your friend's flashlight? Is there any, like, uh, wh yeah. Wh why? Uh, Do you I know have. what a flashlight is, right? Yeah, like, of course. I just never tried it. And hell yeah. You, you don't use your friends though like <laughs> that's what he was trying to tell me yeah i've heard of eskimo brothers but that's like microwave brothers or something <laughs> like that or reverse heat from the inside yeah i donate all of my fleshlights to goodwill yeah. <laughs> why do you get fleshlights you go why do you go through so many aubrey uh, i am a lonely person <laughs> <laughs> so did you end up fucking your buddy's fleshlight no, I fucked my girlfriend instead. Wow, look at you. <laughs> my That's goodness. Uh, same amount of cum inside her from another guy. Uh, <laughs> you just got motherfucking red band Damn. deep fried. Uh, how long you been with this girl? Uh, five years. Five years? Wow, this sounds yeah. serious. You ever think about uh, putting a, getting married? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then you stop thinking about it? 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What does she do? She is an elementary music teacher. Wow, elementary music teacher. Is she teaching Genius Christ right now how to <laughs> when you get past me. that one verse? Of, if you've ever seen yeah. it. <laughs> when you're an elementary school uh, music teacher, you don't even know need to know how to play anything, right? Like you just have to give them like a trumpet and go, yeah, that sounds great, Tw- th- third grader. <laughs> uh, it, in some districts, yeah. Yeah. No, she took, took some like Hungarian folk song based <gasps> method wow. of teaching. Damn. So yeah. Like deep forest. Yeah, it's some crazy shit. Wow. All right. What's the most interesting thing about you in your entire life and your history? If you had to give us a crazy fun fact about, wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> crouching tiger, hidden faggot over here. Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, man. I can say that word around here, right? It's good. It, it's still legal here. Yeah. Interesting fact. Don't make us burn down another rainbow land. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wh- why'd you squat like that? Going back to your Indian roots, what's happening? How? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, t- uh, Get up. Some, something makes me interesting, man. I don't know. You started sweating profusely the second yeah. I asked you this question, so I feel like there's something. You like the? Uh, the I like mushrooms, man. You know, I'm into wow. psychedelics and shit. Ate some on the beach in North Carolina one time. One time. One time. Why one time? Uh, we were just there, uh, one of my bands was on. Are tour. you trying to identify yourself by the drug mushrooms? Like with that. <laughs> what do you mean? Saying 24 years. What's something that you've done? Or maybe you've saved someone's life once. Or maybe you were a, like a... I don't know. You seem like you've done something interesting. Like, <laughs> it seems like you were once like a, a lifeguard at a slip and slide or something like that. No. Like a, uh, I worked in a kitchen with uh, a bunch of Mexicans one time. Wow. For, for like, <laughs> I like the way you say like bunch years. of Mexicans. No, it was uh, me. You said it they, like it was a bad thing. Like you, were in a, like you were a POW of some kind. Like. <laughs> We've all worked, and mo- I mean, not, all of us have worked in a kitchen with Mexicans before. I, I hit a coyote with my car on the interstate a couple years ago. Is that what you call Mexicans now? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the ones that <laughs> help other Mexicans travel across the border. Stop hey, a coyote. Your tracks, man. His name was Jose. <laughs> all right. Um, what's your name, Cody? Connor. Uh, <laughs> It's good to have you on, dude. Thank you. How do you think stand-up's going for you? Good? Yeah, it's going all right. All right, man. Well, if, as long as you have fun with it, as long as you enjoy yourself, you fucking keep rocking, dude. We're glad that you came on. You got the show started <laughs> Thanks, tonight. brother. Connor Kakora, everybody. <laughs> hey, Peter Gabriel. How about a hand for Aubrey over here on the saxophone? <laughs> Always new music. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can already tell you, this is a special night. Uh, this guy actually got up last night and blew the fucking roof off the joint. I, I told him that uh, we told him, right? It was your idea to invite him back. Uh, to come here. He said he didn't have a new minute. I said, write another minute. Sign up again, just in fucking case I pull your name. He ended up coming. He ended up signing up, and he just got pulled second out of this entire bucket of people that signed up. How many of you were at last night's show? (laughs) Then I think you know star power when you hear it. I present to you for the second night in a row, two episodes of Kill Tony in a row, Colt! Wow, there he is. (laughs) When I was a kid, my dad never played catch with me. I asked him one time. He bought me a boomerang. (laughs) The holes in my socks are from my puppy, not my income. (laughs) For real, this puppy was so excited to see me last night. I picked him up, and he pissed on my face. It was tough to hide my boner from my family. (laughs) My girlfriend's here tonight, which is really strange because I can never get her to come, but (laughs) that's not a joke. Wow, Colt, ladies and gentlemen, going out, 
stylistically, with style. All right, what do you say we just start kicking shit again, huh? <laughs> Let's fucking do this. For those of you that don't know, uh, don't weren't at last night's show, which was a lot of you, of course. Uh, Colt, it just so happens to be. Where are you from again? I'm from Allen, Texas. I work in Plano, Texas. Wow. Allen, Texas works in Plano, Texas. And he just so happens to be a globally recognized martial artist of the extremely highest caliber. You hear how quiet it got? Because I am fucking serious, ladies and gentlemen. This kid, this fucking little goddamn, looks like he gets shoved in every locker, is the one that's shoving bigger kids into lockers. Colt, show these people a little bit of what you're capable of. <laughs> He's just stretching, guys. He's just stretching. <laughs> That's what he... <laughs> Nothing beats a human being falling. That was a joke. It's a comedy show. Just, just in all of comedy, nothing's better than someone just disappearing on the ground for a second. Just nothing beats it. Honestly, I had a nightmare about that last night. About I'm not even you about falling that. just like that yeah, on a just high like kick? That. <laughs> <laughs> well, dreams and nightmares come true here on Kill Tony Colt. That is so fucking cool uh, that you can uh, do crazy shit with your legs like that. Have you ever had to use that on somebody? No. no, never not once. No. You just end up lifting your leg up like that and everybody just stops talking shit I immediately, just, right? I just try to be nice. <laughs> like, uh, can you get, can you, can we, just out of curiosity though, can we pretend, can we do like a scene where maybe, uh, maybe Aubrey bullies you? Uh, and <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Aubrey bullies you at some point and you show us what you would do to a guy like Aubrey. Is this possible? <laughs> Aubrey, Aubrey's already putting his saxophone away, so I'm... <laughs> I'm guessing Aubrey's uh, game for anything at this point. Uh, so, uh, wow, this is interesting. So someone's going to bully you. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and then uh, whatever would happen, uh, you d uh, hopefully Aubrey wouldn't move or anything like that <laughs> and get in the way of whatever it was that you're going to do. Uh, so let's see what happens here. He's going to get bullied for the first time in his life. A Texas martial artist. This is what they look like, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, okay, here we go. This is totally... Wait, what? What, what did he tell you to do? He, he, wh he, he whispered in, in my ear, uh, throw a haymaker punch and, and hit me, and I feel like I am back in a bad marriage again. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I hope, Colt, this isn't another uh, good old carpet slip that's about to happen here. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. He completely disarmed him. Uh, I would like my hat back, please. <laughs> Gave him a Make America Great Again hat. Both hats came off in the melee. That is incredible. <laughs> Can I just say, he made contact with my tongue when he... <laughs> <laughs> Your when tongue he was out? He threw my head down and my tongue fell out like a dog. <laughs> and when he kneed up, I licked his pants. Wow. Magical moment. Magical moment. So, Colt, you're great at martial arts. You're a cool fucking guy. You're a hip-looking dude, right? You look like Waldo's rich nephew. <laughs> uh, so tell us something that we'd be, you know, and you played it safe at times tonight, did a couple of little jokey jokes that were cute, right? And that's fine, but we like we like the real stuff. Tell us something about you that we don't know, that we that, that is something that maybe you don't want people to know, that maybe you thought about talking about tonight but didn't end up talking about. You put those little cutie pie frog jokes in the middle there. I saw somebody die once. You saw somebody what? I saw somebody die. Oh, you saw somebody die. Yeah, real life. Yeah? Is it after you kicked them in the face? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was my uncle. But I didn't know him. But, like, my dad, like, we went to go see him. He was on, like, hospice or whatever. Uh -huh. And we showed up, and, like, nobody was there but, like, him and the, yeah. and the nurse. And, like, my dad said something to him, and then 
He just died. Oh my God! Did he whisper it in his ear? Yeah. Oh my God! And then, did you ever ask your dad what he whispered into? It? No, but the doorbell ringed, rang right after that. So I had to answer the door, and it was his kids. Oh no! And they were like, "Oh, you must be Colton. I saw you on Facebook." I'm like, "I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> right. Your dad's dead." <laughs> oh my God! That's true. That's a hundred percent true. That's how you said it? No, not exactly. I'm paraphrasing. I was just I said, "I'm sorry for your loss. I'm Colton." Wow. Why wouldn't you ask your dad what he said? Maybe it was your dad's fault. Like, I, it, yeah. No. What, what if your dad whispered like, uh, "I'm gonna t- when you die, I'm gonna tell everybody that you molested me." Uh, <laughs> yeah. no. like, I think he, he said, "I'm here." He said, "It's Scotty. I'm here." Oh, yeah. and that scared him to death. Yeah. <laughs> he must have bullied him or something, perhaps when they were kids. My goodness, Colt. All right. Well, you got up two nights in a row. You, I, I give you a lot of props for writing, being able to at least try to write a minute in 24 hours after your first time ever on stage, which was last night. And uh, we put you in the pressure cooker tonight. Are you going to do it again, you think? Fuck, fuck yeah. Wow. Look at that. We've created a goddamn monster. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Colt, everybody. Last night, we had Colt do the bottle cap challenge live in Plano, and he did it. He knocked the cap off of a bottle. You guys know the bottle cap challenge? You seen that on your goddamn Insta hoots? <laughs> Whatever you call them down there. I watched it on Facebook. All right. Pull another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Caitlin Hassenauer. Caitlin Hassenauer. Caitlin. Caitlin. Here she comes. Yee-hoo! Come on, Fort Worth. All right. So me and my boyfriend found out we do the same thing during sex. And that's think of other people. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We know what we look like. Um, but we came up with a rule so we'd stop saying the wrong name during sex anymore. And that rule is we'll only think of celebrities with the same name as our partner. And I got off pretty easy. Get it? Got off. That was dumb. Anyways, I got off pretty easy because my boyfriend's name is Michael. So I've got like Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, (laughs) Michael J. Fox for when he comes because he does this cute little twitching thing. It's great. Yeah. It's great. But uh, we were trying to think of a celebrity with the same name as me. And if you don't remember, my name is Caitlin. We've already thought of it. It's Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. I was like, babe, this game isn't fun anymore. We don't have to play anymore. He would just look me up and down. He's like, I can work with it. Yeah. But I'm not offended because she's a transgendered woman. I'm offended because I feel like he has this weird fetish where he wants me to hit him with my car. And just drive away. Fuck yeah. Caitlyn. Hassenauer. Welcome, welcome. Very fun. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, about two years. About two years. All here in Fort Worth? Uh, no, I'm from Denton, unfortunately. Wow, Denton. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. What do you love about Denton? Um, I've got a job there. Wow. <laughs> Heck yeah. Denton thing. sounds like the kind of place where you'd be a nine in Denton. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> It's it is. Pretty, it's a compliment, it's but it's a also, generous, uh, compliment. it's also it's an it's, yeah. it's an interesting compliment. Interesting, we'll call it that. Yeah. Fort Fort Worth, you'd be like nine beers, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, Red Band. Ex- Red Band's extra mean tonight. <laughs> this is Roasty Red Band. He's can here I, for a little barbecue. Can I just say, if both of you keep up this behavior, I will be writing both of you up. Okay. Wow, <laughs> we're gonna get written up. Uh, Catlin, so welcome to the show. You've been doing stand up for two years. How do you make a living? Uh, I actually work at the university in Denton. Oh, wow. The University of Denton. What is that, for farming? Uh, no. <laughs> Get on the tractor. Here's your diploma, you idiot. Uh, what it, I'm just kidding. What do they teach at the University of Denton? It's uh, the University of North Texas. It's like a music college, mostly. Oh, cool. Yeah. You you have you play music? No. No. <laughs> no musical talent whatsoever? Not really. I was in band in high school, and uh, they really drilled it in me. Tuba? Oh, thanks. <laughs> no. I knew most of the tuba players, but... <laughs> what'd you play in, uh, uh, what'd I, you play in the band? I played French horn. Oh, ooh la la, jui, jui, jui. Oh, bon chocolate show. Yeah. You know what that, I just said? 
Uh, I'll, uh, we'll talk about it later. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hello. Uh, looks like I'm getting fucking Waffle House tonight. <laughs> Get fucking smothered and covered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Catelyn, how long you been with this boyfriend of yours? Uh, we've been dating for like four years. Four years. What does he do? Uh, he's actually a teacher. Wow. What does he teach? Uh, he's a gym teacher. Gym teacher? Yeah. My goodness. At an gracious. elementary school. Whoa, hell yeah, those guys get all the pussy. <laughs> if he yeah. could say hi to my two daughters, uh, that would be appreciated. <laughs> my wife will not let me see them. Okay. Oh, you're not allowed to see your daughters anymore, Aubrey? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long story? Uh-huh, long story. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you like uh, Michael Jordan type guys, right? <laughs> yeah. We noticed I that uh, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan yeah. and then just a Michael J. Fox twitch. Thank you, <laughs> I guess like a, a Denton version of Michael Jordan, so extra 100 pounds or so. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is he black? Yeah. Your boyfriend is? Yep. Uh-huh. Wow. Yep. No one is surprised. No, no, no that's fine. Uh, do you, uh, I mean, um, does he have a, uh, a record of any kind? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. My first thought was like a rap record, and I was like, how'd you know he is a rapper? Oh, he is. Is yeah. he really? Is he really? Wow. Is he here right now? No, right. he came oh. last night. And I bet he it was, did. It was the girl. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Is he a famous rapper? No. Can no. we find any of his stuff anywhere? Yeah, uh, probably SoundCloud. SoundCloud? Yeah, or iTunes. Uh, or iTunes, yeah. What is, uh, what's the name of his uh, rap name? Mikey Pyrex. Mikey Pyrex. M-I-K-E-Y. P Y R E X. I'm a terrible girlfriend. Yeah, something wow, like that. Wow, you're also a terrible <laughs> uh, university employee. Yep. Um, don't know how to spell your own black boyfriend's rap name. Come on, lady. <laughs> this is why a lot of them, uh, a lot of them, just keep it real short. Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? Keep it easy to spell. <laughs> don't want to go D M X. Perhaps you've heard. Know how to spell properly. Ar, ar. P-Y-R-E-X, I yeah. believe. Pyrex is a thing that they uh, mix drugs in. You know about this? Oh. I feel like you don't know anything about your boyfriend's oh. secret double life as no. a rapper. I feel like you don't know what... Once uh, he gets on stage, it's all... Really? It's he gets him. on stage a lot? Yeah. What does he do? Like, I mean, like, what types of events? Bar mitzvahs? Uh, <laughs> yo, yo, you fucking uh, Mikey Pyrex. <laughs> you fucking Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his last show was at a gas station. At so. a gas station. See, this is why I ask these questions. Because I'm looking for real premium. To, uh, is this a music video? Yeah, this it starts him? off with him doing the dishes. Is he, is he a dishwasher in yeah. one of his videos? This is him? Wow. That's him and my brother, yeah. That's your brother? Yeah. My goodness. And did, how'd they get access to the place where they're doing dishes in a video? Did they? Uh, they both work there. They both work there. I had a feeling, again, Tony Hinchcliffe. Is my name. I ask the and questions. I'm actually in this video, so. Are you really? Yeah. So, uh, what are you wearing in the video? Uh, my so guess is you're on top of a car? No, not at all. Fucking just soaping it up? That's me right there. Is that, See, what's she doing? Guys, if you work tomorrow, oh, some of those. We'd probably be done by now, so. Wow. Look at that. This isn't, oh, they're about to fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh, wow, this is some crazy, like, uh, it's like if Run the Jewels never ran a day in their life. It's like Walk the Jewels. Like, rob the Jewels, perhaps. Uh, wow, that's exciting. We lost sound on that? What happened? Oh, okay. That's what it sounds like. But this is still the white guy, right? That's, yeah, my brother's the white guy. Your bro- okay, you know, I got that part figured yeah. out. Uh, that'd be crazy if, you were, if your boyfriend was now the white guy and your <laughs> brother was a black man. <laughs> the good old blood brother here. Yeah, Mikey Pyrex. That sounds about right. <laughs> anyway, uh, so um, has it always been, uh, have you always been with uh, black men only, pretty much? Uh, no, I only, I've dated one white guy and he's uh-huh. the one that got me pregnant. Oh. Whoa, really? Normally that's completely backwards. Okay, right? so, so you like the light roast too, I, okay. Hey, look at that. <laughs> wow, so you were with the white guy, how, how old's your kid? 
He's four. Four years old. Yeah. And uh, then you, you you guys broke up. Yeah. And uh, you did you keep the kid? Yeah. Like I mean, like you're the full time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Keep, the, keep kid. the kid. That's not what you I saved meant. the receipt. He didn't go very well. In the <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, what are you close with your father? My dad, yeah, he's great. Y- yeah, uh, is he cool with you being with a black man? Like, what is your what type of guy is your dad? Like, ooh, I love the answer I'm about to get. <laughs> um, he's gotten used to it now. Ooh, yeah, yeah I knew it. Did I yeah. say I was gonna love the answer? He's gotten used to it now. Is the funniest possible answer to that question. It tells you everything. It's better than the first time I brought brought a black guy home. Uh, he just kind of did. You at almost me. say a black home. <laughs> black home. <laughs> No. no, she almost said that she bought a black guy, is what she actually almost said. <laughs> Tell us about the first time you brought a black guy home. Uh, really awkward dinner, all that fun stuff. The guy finally went home, and then I asked my parents, I was like, what do you all think of him? My dad's just like, well, we have to get used to it now. You can't go back. Oh, that's funny. I like your dad. Yeah. Yeah, your Wait, dad so, gets it. So he- so he he's the he's the one guy who heard that quote and is like he took that as fact. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, great, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you can't go back, so there you go. You've opened this door. Well, he's there you go. no going back now, Caitlin. You're on a one-way street of darkness. <laughs> all right. You've well. opened Pandora's black box. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Catlin. I saw this movie once. It's called Get Out. <laughs> All right, Catlin. Well, you're fucking awesome, man. I loved uh, I loved your jokes. You know, you got you're working with beats. Obviously, you get it. I love your style. Super likable. Thanks, man. You're killing it. Catlin awesome. Hassenauer. Let's keep it moving along. We got people to see. Places to take them. All right, pull another name out. Put your hands together for Anthony Fink. It's Anthony Fink. Whoa. Anthony Fink. Here he comes, everybody. Wow. In the flesh. What's up, guys? What's up, Fort Worth? How's it going, guys? I guess I should share a secret with you guys. I've got a tattoo on my dick. A dick, too, if you will. Something major it just says manufactured in Constantinople. When people ask me how it went, I just tell them it was hard. Anyway, my mom's here tonight. Uh, shout out to Debbie. You guys ever watch so much porn that you wonder how many stepbrothers a girl can have? If there's anything I've learned, I wish I had a stepsister a long time ago. (laughs) Or you ever watch so much porn that you forget what you're there for? (laughs) Like you just find a good plot and you're just like... (laughs) All right, that's my time, guys. Thanks. Anthony Fink, ladies and gentlemen. Heck yeah, Anthony. Welcome to the show. Thanks. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, six months. Six months. And you live here in Dallas? Uh, Fort Worth, yeah. Fort Worth. Heck yeah. Born and raised? Uh, no, I moved here 10 years ago from Ohio. Moved here 10 years ago from Ohio. Why, how, why here? Uh, it's where your parents moved? I was broke. You were broke? Yeah. You were broke in what city in Ohio? Uh, it wasn't a city. <laughs> It was uh, it was actually called a village. Yeah, what was the village? village? It was called Manaway, Ohio. Where, where? Shout out to my hometown of 200 people. That's where you were born and raised. <laughs> yeah, born and raised in. Manaway, what do your Ohio parents do? They Amish? No, uh, but we do got some good Amish people that we know. Yeah. yeah. What do they? What do your parents do in Manaway? Uh, they actually, my mom moved here. Uh huh. Um, and my dad washes cars up in Ohio. Wow. And my mom works at an oil field company. Oh, yeah. okay. And you came here to Fort Worth. Was that your choice? No. Who's mom's choice? Yeah. Oh. She she found a guy, and I tried to stay. Oh, she was cheating on your father with another man from Texas. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that's much. the story. <laughs> yeah. She'll never admit it, though. Of course. Yeah. I sure. ask her all the time. I bet. I also ask her if I was adopted, because she's black. Um, Is that true? 
No. Wow. It's just a terrible joke. Wow, they, they ate it up. This fucking audience loved that moment that you just made happen here. So, Anthony, uh, you used to drink a lot, but you don't anymore? Drink a lot? Yeah. Still do. You still do? Yeah. You do drugs? I can't anymore. Right. So yeah. you stopped doing that? I had to for my job. You, what were you addicted to? Oh, nothing major. Just oh. uh, ex- Weed's not a drug, right? No. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. I've, yeah, no. You seem like there's, I don't know, I'm getting a vibe of, uh, of like something. He has a dick tattoo. That's, yeah. Why would you get a dick tattoo? Is that true? You really do have a dick tattoo? No. no. I feel like nothing you say is true. No. Is your mom really here tonight? No. No. She's that not was here. a lie, too. She's not here. Everything's a lie. She's watching, though. <laughs> Everything's a weird lie with you. <laughs> uh, what do you do for work? I uh, work at uh, Lockheed Martin. It's the plant. Yep, I know what Lockheed yeah. Martin is. Yeah. Heck yeah. What do you do there? I can't say. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at you. What a little douchebag you are. Fuck you, man. <laughs> what I do you know. do for fun? <laughs> Tell us something about you that's real, Anthony. Uh, I do jujitsu. Uh-huh. What else? Uh, I do uh, stand-up comedy. Try do to. you? No. <laughs> what else other than stand-up <laughs> comedy and jujitsu? Tell us something. Like you seem like a cool guy, right? You seem like you have arm tattoos. Every oh, your clothes fit. You got brand new, nice, clean shoes. You got gel in your hair. Your facial hair is perfect, right? You try hard. So you know, stick with stick with me over here, Anthony. I can tell you already have some fucking weird <laughs> answer that you think is gonna work right now. Like some type of like weird fucking political debate that we're not having. It's but no, I haven't. I'm in the middle of asking you a question. You fucking look at me, Anthony. All right? I'm not your car-washing father in Malloway, <laughs> Ohio. Okay? You look at me in my goddamn eyes when I'm talking to you. <laughs> so what I'm saying is you seem like you have yourself put together, but also, like, you sort of fucking try, right? Like, you know what's cool. You know you, know you want to be cool. Tell us something uncool about you. I not can't... jujitsu and stand-up and what you can't talk about at Lockheed Martin. I'm talking about, like... Well... I know it looks like I'm doing a fashion statement up here, uh, but I'm not. I just can't find pants that fit. You did the fucking thing that you wanted to do the whole time. Instead of answering the question that I specifically... T- I tried to save you there. Did you hear that silence that you just got? No, that's not the no, answer, no, wait, sir. No, no. Okay, I'll, I'll, All right, hold I'll, on. I'll start, and then you, and then you go. Okay. Here? Okay, Aubrey, you go first. Okay, I wet the bed on a weekly basis. Very good. There you go. There's Aubrey confessing something uncool about himself. Your turn. Uh, I'm not that cool. Yeah. Yeah, so tell us what's not cool about you, Anthony. Uh, well, everything. I don't know. I just don't like to... I don't know. I don't like to say that I'm cool. Like, everyone... Uh, you know what? Uh, let's go to Aubrey for another uncool thing so that maybe yeah. you'll understand how this works a little bit. Aubrey, go ahead. Yeah, sometimes I poop blood and wonder if I'm dying on the inside. There oh. you go. There's oh. another one. You see how easy it is? It's um, just something that you think that you don't want to share, but you might be surprised at the reaction that you get, like, because it, it's comedy. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I haven't had a solid shit in six no, years. No, 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 no. See, this is what we, this is what, this is what, this is the road that we can't go down. You can't compare poops and shit like that, oh. all right? This oh. is called, you just oh. came down with a case of the red bands here where you heard a poop reference, now you feel like you have to make a poop reference. There you go. All right. So... It can't be off of Aubrey's thing. So I'm going to get another thing from Aubrey so that it's like ginger on your little sushi brain okay. and you start from scratch again. Yes. But it can't, yes. it can't have anything to do with his thing. You have to think of your own thing. It could be okay. anything uncool about you. Okay. Because the most uncool thing is you not being able to think of an uncool thing right yeah. now. I know. So let's check in with Aubrey one more time. Something uncool about Aubrey. Yeah, sometimes I look in the mirror and feel like a turtle because I am a shell of a person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You see how that's a humbling thing for him to say publicly, and he's owning it, and the crowd's <laughs> laughing? Your turn, Anthony. Would you like an ad shot of espresso? <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Just pure habits. He's got... Go ahead, Anthony Fink. Tell us something uncool about you. I have a membership to Gap. <laughs> Did they really make Gap membership? I never use it, but I do have it. Are membership. you lying again? What's no, a... I really do. I legit have a Gap Do you membership. have it on you? No. Uh, what's, what's a Gap membership? Even, you get, like, Gap points. <laughs> oh. Do you see how the audience that's, is laughing at that? Do you funny. see the reaction to that compared to everything else you did here tonight? Gap. I'm telling you. 
I can see what you're doing. I can see what your thing is. And I'm telling you, you got to surprise these people because you already, you're talking about, hey, I got a dick tattoo. And you already, you know, you you look like that fucking porn, fake James Dean porn star guy. <laughs> like, it's just like, you're already slimy. And you're talking about like slimy shit. We want to hear the opposite end. Like you have a oh. fucking Gap membership. <laughs> and you don't even fucking know what it does or how you got it. You just woke up one morning and because you look like you do, it appeared under your pillow. <laughs> the gap fairy crawled into your window because you have reached that level of douchebaggery and put a gap membership. You see how funny it is? It's yeah. true. So, it's true. Sometimes true. I penetrate a dog's mouth with my finger uh, just to look into the whites of their eyes. <laughs> see, go ahead. Try, try one more to see. Can you top that? I don't know if you can top that. We're going to keep it moving. Anthony, take, take the note that I give you. Some people complain sometimes that I don't give notes, but I give them notes. This is a powerful fucking note I'm giving you. That thing that you pretended like you didn't know that you had to dig out about the Gap membership. You were working honest beats there. It's all right there for the taking. Find the uncool things about you because it's counteractive to what you appear to look and sound like, and that's what makes things funny. Sometimes I shave my face with a woman's razor just to feel sexy. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, Anthony Fink. Nice, yes. Anthony Fink. He's been doing it six months. Back from that ledge. <laughs> All right, you guys having fun out there? Yeah. All right, make some noise for your next comedian, Logan Cleave. Logan Cleave. That you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Logan Cleave, everybody. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so I went to a barbecue last weekend. Yeah. My friend, his aunt walked past. I'm like, dude, she was pretty hot. He was like, you wait till her daughter shows up. <laughs> Don't worry, she's 17. It's legal. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I got a bunch of crazy people in my family, uh, old racist people. Uh, that's the best. Uh, they they say some wild shit and then they cover it up like, "Oh, sweetie, I'm just from a different time." <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I got a really nerdy friend and. If there was a manual on how to masturbate, he'd have read that. I just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Heck yeah, Logan Cleave. <laughs> why, why are you looking at me like that? I'm really scared. <laughs> You're really scared? Yeah. Why are you scared? You should be r on the high of your life. I mean, you just won the <laughs> women's soccer championship. And <laughs> I have shit in That's my incredible. pants. Incredible. You look like Ronda Rousey's younger sister. <laughs> you look like if He-Man was a She-Man. <laughs> It's, it's funny that you said you have racist relatives because you look like Andrew WKKK. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who that is. I bet you don't. Giddy up. <laughs> Giddy up, little cowgirl. Look at you. <laughs> Hell yeah. So how long have you been in a Leonard Skinner cover band? <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't. You how how long have kid. you been in Hanson? <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. Whoa! All right, let's get back to the heartbreak kid over here, Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Enough with the sweet chin music. Let's get back to this the fucking... Look at this guy. He can't even help himself. Fucking Fabio's grandson over here. <laughs> My God, what are you? Are you a, a real Texas guy? Oh, fuck yeah, bro. West Texas. West Texas. So West Texas. It's just a. It's like I. 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 I, I want to think this is a man, but this might just be a really tough Texas woman. You know what I mean? Right? It's like a really badass. Like, you got it, Tony. I just say that I'm a man now. I was sick of defending myself. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, so Logan, tell us more about how long you been doing stand-up comedy. First time ever. Thank yeah. God. Very yeah. good, Logan. Yeah. Cleve. Okay. Very good. 
You have a great look for it, but I could tell that was your first time. <laughs> Either that or you're one of the worst comedians of all <laughs> yeah. time. If that wasn't Dog your shit. first yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, so, wow. Logan, welcome, welcome. What do you, uh, what do, you do? Uh, are, are you the guy that gives out <laughs> memberships to the Gap? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I work at a country club. Yeah? There's nothing. Uh, I mow grass, fix sprinkler heads. It's really bullshit. Do they make you work out there in the fields with your shirt off? <laughs> So that kind of oh wow. uh, 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 look at that uh, uh, oh my god he's got the red white and blue that's a real goddamn American right there Logan you ever been to uh you ever been to fucking um Logan over here you yeah. son of Wait, a bitch what, what are what did I just look at <laughs> what happened over there what did I miss I don't understand tan what? line his tan line oh um, okay. Wow. So, Logan, uh, how long have you lived in uh, Haltom City? Okay, that years. reference did not work no. at all. You're from White Settlement? Okay. Oh, that one's better. All right, good. Heck, yeah. I, I have a question. How long have you been using uh, shoestrings as belts? <laughs> Ever since I was poor. So. Okay. Oh yeah. Goodness. Oh, you didn't have to turn that around on me like that. Wow. Yeah. How do you feel now? I, uh, you know, I'm still working Jesus. at Starbucks. So all down. right, all right. You guys settle down over there, Logan. Stop bullying the barista. <laughs> yeah. Um. So tell us uh, about you. What do you do for fun? You're out there in the fucking wild country uh, of West Texas. You got hair flowing in the tractors. I don't do shit, man. <laughs> I work. Uh, play video games. Yeah. That's it. I don't what smoke else? A fuck ton of weed. You do. Oh my goodness. Smoke weed at work. It's the best you thing smoke about weed it. while working at the country club? Well, you could be using some of that weed money on belt money. So there you go. Wow. Look at that. So don't come at me like you're poor. I work 9 to 5 every day of the week. 90 wow. hours a week. Damn. Aubrey's laying it down. Wow. You come at me again, I will murder you right here in the store. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Logan, you have a girlfriend? Oh, fuck no. no. Oh, fuck wow. no. Wait, what horrible is that? love life. Horrible, horrible love life? life. Really? Yeah, yeah, How yeah. horrible is it? How horrible can it possibly be? Like like 70% of your audience. I'm a virgin. Really? Yep, yep. Get the fuck out of here. You're really a virgin? <laughs> yeah. First of all, if you come at this audience one more time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, why I, do you keep making I fun of the crowd? I get my dick wet on the regular yeah, whenever just, it's outside of Starbucks hours, so you take that back right now, okay? Whoa, yeah. Aubrey, be careful. I hear it on the show a lot. A bunch yeah. of virgins coming up. Yeah. No, that's yeah. not really true. Um, yeah. this, the Kill Tony crowd is notorious oh, for fucking. fucking. He slays it, bro. That guy right there? Yeah. I know him. He has four kids. Yeah. He's <laughs> so, Logan, why do you think you have this problem? You're a good looking guy. You seem to have a charisma. I work too much. You work too much? Uh, I no don't time. I'm nah. not buying that. I, I trade stocks. You uh, trade stocks? Mm -hmm. How how successful of a stock trader are I'm you? I'm in the green <laughs> and ain't losing money. When I you say you're in the yet. green, does that mean you're going to be mowing lawns for the rest <laughs> of your life? Yeah, yeah. What do I'm you a, what do you invest in? Uh, I use Robin Hood and shit. I don't. Hey, like, that's oh, right. Like we like absolutely stocks. love Robin Hood, and for right like now, a, you can use the promo code <laughs> Kill Tony and uh, yeah, sign yeah, up yeah, for yeah, a Robin Hood account. Yeah, yeah. So Logan, let's get back to this love life thing that you're avoiding. <laughs> And you're not doing a very good job at it. Uh, so, Logan, tell us why you think it is that you have a problem. Because, uh, I mean, obviously there's dating apps. You can't work yeah, every well, day and night. I'm not buying it. Like like a belt and you. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Well, where I live is, uh, I live in a small town of like a thousand people. Yeah. Ain't no Tinder in that bitch. Ain't no Tinder in Ain't that no bitch. Ain't no Tinder. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking, uh, yeah, but there has to be sounds one. Sounds like a goddamn Mikey Pyrex album. <laughs> Ain't no Tinder in that bitch. You're definitely... Uh, you definitely have like a local whore, you know, that everyone passes around, right? You can't fuck the yeah, watering hole girl. Are you the watering hole girl that he's talking about? <laughs> hey, bend her over. She's I'm got a butthole. <laughs> Just ignore that dangly shit. I'm on the other side of the hole. What? I'm on the other side of the hole. I that, don't know. I don't know what that Sorry, means. God when's damn. the last time God you damn. When's the last time you kissed a girl, Logan? <sighs> High school. High school? Are you fucking serious? Really? It's been since high school? I told you, bro. School? I just work. I don't do high shit. High school? Is there... Let me ask you guys something. No, is there really one no, woman no. out there that would be willing to give this guy a fucking kiss? There must Stop. be one girl here in Stop. forward. This guy hasn't had a kiss since high school. 
Can we get a girl to come plan a wet one on this guy? Is there someone coming here? Put the, give me that microphone. Logan, hand me that microphone. Give me this fucking thing. You pucker up, little buttercup. You put that hair, you stand right over here. Stand right there. Hello, how are you, sweetheart? What's your name? Mary Jane. Hi, Mary Jane. Aren't you the little cutest fucking little thing in the world? She's fucking hot. Look at this goddamn little Texas Amy Winehouse looking angel pie. Wow. Would you be willing to give this little rock star a kiss? He hasn't had a kiss since high school. Will you plan a wet one on this guy? Show him how to be a man? I will give him a kiss. Wow. Look at that. Let's do it. Go right ahead. Fort Worth, this shit's about to go down. He doesn't know what to do. Get in there. Can I just say, can I just say, Logan, Logan, you gotta put up, you can't just go. <laughs> Logan, that's not how this works, all right? Don't let your fucking boner block you from fucking. Open your mouth a little bit and give this girl the type of kiss that you see in a real movie. Come on. This is fucking Texas. Hey, she liked it. She was surprised there. Was that a good kiss? It was all right. It was all right. Definitely far from the worst I've ever had. I love it. My goodness. Did you sign up to do 60 seconds here tonight? I was too scared to. No, it's okay. You stole the show in <laughs> you your were, own you way. You were too scared to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> for, for a stand-up, but you'll kiss a stranger That was before I had stage? a few drinks in me, all right? Wow. And You're I, a fucking little rock I, star. I love the, uh, the, the Yelp review you gave his kiss of, hey, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> My goodness. Well, thank you so much for doing that. W w your name one more time? Mary Jane. Put your hands together for Mary Fuck Jane. Yeah, Mary Jane. And gentlemen. What a sweet little fucking thing. Look at her. I you. haven't had a kiss in a couple of days. I She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You were at last night's show, I too. I was. Heck yeah. You are absolutely adorable. How about one more time for Mary Jane, everybody? There she goes. And there goes Logan Cleave, everybody. There they go, guys. We'll see you guys after the show. Mary Jane's hot. There they go. Two of the most beautiful girls in Fort Worth here. Uh, absolutely amazing. We're making dreams come true here tonight. Logan Cleave, you got to open up your playbook, homie. You should be slaying all the puss around here. This fucking guy walking around looking like the top half of a centaur. Like, oh, I can't seem to get any ladies to like me. Or... Like Jesus, or he's one of the biggest players ever. You know, like he, right. he, he just, just wanted like, a kiss. He knew <laughs> what was going to happen. He just gave poor little Mary Jane mouth chlamydia. <laughs> All right, <laughs> wait. She's like, I already got that shit. All right, pull another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Jason McAdam, everyone. Jason McAdam, motherfucking Fort Worth, Texas. Here he is, everybody. Hello. Hello. Prepare to be underwhelmed. <laughs> I mean, you can't really beat uh, seeing love a true for. How are you fucked up? <laughs> all right, all right. I got a problem with Olive Garden. They claim they have unlimited breadsticks, but if that's the case, then I'd like to know why I can only fit five in my ass. <laughs> oh. Easier than I thought. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Um, I lost my virginity to a paraplegic girl when I was 13 years old. And um, I know that's probably too young to be having sex, but apparently I was pretty good because she couldn't feel her legs when I was done. So. <laughs> I hear a lot of moaning and groaning, but honestly, that's kind of better than laughter in my opinion. So... <laughs> Wow, there you go, Jason McAdam. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jason McAdam, dirty bastard. Young dirty bastard. <laughs> Look at you. Hello. Uh, you, hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. This is very exciting to have a uh, smushy version of Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> smushy? Yeah, smushy. 
<laughs> this guy looks like a pile of mashed potatoes. <laughs> uh, but he has, you have a little fucking little nose ring. It offsets yeah. all the uh, masculinity about yeah. you. <laughs> so it's very like, hey, look, I'm a nice guy after all. Look at the middle of my nose. Come on. Uh, first time doing stand up, Jason? This is my fourth time on stage. Fourth time ever on stage. The first three you were singing Tool at a karaoke bar? <laughs> no. It, it, was, it was a couple months ago, so. Uh huh. It was a couple months ago. Yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a caseworker. Caseworker. Yeah, I process benefits for like uh, welfare benefits, like food stamps, Medicaid, stuff like uh-huh. that. Wow, look at that! Hell yeah, these we got po- some fans of food stamps. A lot of in poor people love you. Uh, <laughs> heck yeah, that's cool. Did you really use your virginity at uh, 13 to a paraplegic? Yes, that's very, really very true. true. Very, very true. Yeah. She so, couldn't run away or anything, huh? So how did that? That's happen? kind of the point. How did? How does that go down? Was that like her idea? Uh, the, yeah, it actually was. Yeah. yeah, and she's just uh, laying I mean, there, I, and I she's mean, like, down, "Hey, spread wrong, my but... legs and put your dick in me, like that." Uh, there was no. It was a lot of figuring out, but that's kind of how it worked. Yeah, fingering, fingering out. out. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Getting yeah. her. Did you have yeah. to like lube it up? Was she able to like p- produce uh, <laughs> sexual? I don't know. I don't know if it was technically from the waist down because it was. I mean, it got the job done. Everything right. worked. Did the you, way use, it was a, supposed did you to. use a condom? Wow, <laughs> look at you. Just fucking raw dog and paraplegics. Yeah. Man. Good God, this guy's out of control. It's given the chance of a little fucking one legged baby to be made. <laughs> That's how it happens. If you get a paraplegic pres- pregnant, your baby comes out with one leg. Do not shake your head no at me, lady. This is a scientific <laughs> fact. You have a one legged baby if you get a paraplegic pregnant. No no condom with a paraplegic girl is like no sleeve on a Grundy coffee. <laughs> yeah. You might get burned. <laughs> oh, so Jason, you lost your virginity. I mean, look at that. What a difference a one bucket pool makes, right? That th- this fucking guy looks like what he looks like, right? <laughs> this is what J- this is why Jason Voorhees wore the hockey mask, by the way. This is what was underneath. And then you have a guy that looks like fucking uh, Logan. K- hasn't kissed a girl since high school. Just goes to Maybe. show, Logan. Go fuck more paraplegic girls. <laughs> They're out there for the taking, laying around, waiting for it. Yeah, where did you meet her? Was it like after the car accident, or did you meet her like? Yeah, <laughs> yeah technically after car accident. What was like it? Did she uh, did she go off the high dive at uh, Burger Lake? <laughs> uh, no, it, it was car accident. She was like five, I think, or something like that. Wow, wow. she was five years old mm. driving a car. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a Fisher Price. <laughs> wow. And uh, you, uh, you, how long did you spend with her? Just that one night? One night? Was it? It's hard to do a one night stand with somebody that only sits. <laughs> it's a one night stand. Rest of life. Lay down. All right. Uh, were you ever with her after that? Did you ever date? Did you ever uh, roll her into prom or anything like that? <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I mean, we dated for a few months. That was the only time we really, we really hooked up. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Did she lean on you? <laughs> Sorry? Did she lean on you a lot? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, sure, yeah. Wasn't that what that was? <laughs> no. Oh, that was Stand, Stand By, by Me. me. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I'm like, wait a second, why is he looking it up again? Oh, it's because it's a different song. <laughs> if you fuck... <laughs> One that can't move <laughs> and shoot your splooge. All right, that's enough. I'm off timing here. <laughs> Brian pauses and plays again <laughs> to see if he gets. <laughs> so, Jason, uh, what's something else that we should know about you when you're not working cases for poor people or fucking uh, chicks that... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know um, the rest of that. Uh, I'm a musician. Yeah, what I'm do you play? Uh, I play a few different things. Uh huh. Do you sing? No. Really? Not at all. What the do you one p- thing I don't do, yeah. Wow. Not the one thing. The one thing that the you The biggest don't. thing I don't do. Right. You play all the other instruments. Yeah, I'm not like everything. I mean, I play guitar, bass, and drums. Wow. Look at you. There you go. Would you like to have a, uh, a chunky white guy drum off? <laughs> <laughs> the first ever of its kind? No, I'm kidding. He's got an iPad. Yeah. So, uh, Jason, anything else interesting that we should know about you? Any fun facts about you? Uh... 
Not that I can think of, really. You ever set a record for anything or almost win a contest in something? Oh, uh, I was on Jay Leno once. Yeah, what'd you do on Jay Leno? Uh, I mean, I wasn't like a guest, but uh, I was part of a, a video that got pretty popular. Oh, yeah? Well, and uh, he made a joke about it and played it. Oh, boy, look, look at that guy. Well, he looks like a pile of mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the video? Uh, it's called Captain Awesome Stunt Fail or uh-huh. something like that. What did you do in it? Uh, I shot a firework at a guy. Wow, look at yeah. you. My goodness. Was this before or after Jackass? Way after. Wow. Can, yeah. can we talk about uh, the logic of the uh, Olive Garden joke? <laughs> that made, <laughs> that, yeah, that I made mean, no sense. I wrote right? an entire paragraph of notes after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have written here, why, 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 yeah. why, why? What? How do you, do you actually fit five breadsticks in your asshole? Uh, Is that condensed? Do you smush them together to make one yeah. hard breadstick? Yeah. Or, um, or is your asshole so loose in this joke world that five breadsticks just stay fluffy <laughs> and are inserted all at the same time? Like, I'm trying to picture exactly so that I know exactly what I'm thinking about. Well, fortunately, they use a lot of uh, olive oil in the vinaigrette. Wow. Look it's at a, you. It's a good Are prepper. we talking about the paraplegic girl again? No. Yeah, but it, it makes no sense. You said that it's unlimited breadsticks, but you can only fit five in your ass, which makes right. no sense at all. You right. know that, right? Right. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's it's not using great logic. It's just and some, even it, even if you did fit five in your ass at Olive Garden, if you're like more breadsticks, man, they'd be like, huh, right away. Well, see that that's part of the, that's part of the problem. You'd think, but no, yeah, that's that's my other problem is that's it's just that's really just five before they kick me out. Before they made me leave. Uh huh. Mm. Before they kick so, you. So you're oh. saying that a waiter would allow one insertion. All right, two over insertion. there, but, but, but no more after that. And I'm keeping an eye on you over there, buddy. Right. You got look three breadsticks in your bee hole over there, okay? <laughs> if you do two more, then hit the bricks, Mister. Yeah. <laughs> but four, when you're here, your family. Yeah. <laughs> true it's unbelievable you know my goodness how many breadsticks do you actually think you can fit in your ass jason probably one yeah <laughs> hey, at least do, one does hyena serve breadsticks yeah. here <laughs> how many you want to see jason shove a breadstick up his ass tonight if you put a breadstick in your butt you win all right <laughs> There he goes, Jason McAdam, everybody. We're going to keep this fun train moving along. From that ledge, my friend. That was actually numb by Linkin Park, because that's how I feel. Wow. (laughs) I couldn't even tell. I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard I try. That's right. in the end. You literally mix oh. up the lyrics to every song. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> My Lincoln Park fanmanship only existed before uh, they died. And by they, I mean the one guy. <laughs> and by bye, I mean I don't give a fuck. Uh, pull another name out. Put your hands together for John McMillan, everybody. Oh. John McMillan. <laughs> Yee-hoo! Here we go. Fort Worth. Here he is. Come on, one more time, good and loud for John McMillan, everybody. Children of divorce are the whiniest people of all time. Oh, my parents broke up when I was four. I don't like Martha. She's not my real mom. Shut up. I don't have any sympathy for these people, man. Porn has showed me all the best sides of having a stepmom. Some people uh, like shoving gerbils up their ass. We call them investment bankers. Meanwhile, some of you are struggling to get, like, head from your wife. You know, my thing, I like uh, women with really long nails because it's, like, so sexy just seeing them struggle getting a debit card off a flat surface. (laughs) Oh, Martha, you whore, struggle. The only difference between guns and condoms is that people use guns more. (laughs) Hell yeah. John McMillan. Fuck yeah. Hi, John. How are you? Welcome, welcome. 
I'm feeling good, Tony. I love it. Have you been on this show before? Not at all. Oh, okay. I feel like I've seen you before somewhere. You ever been to the comedy store in L.A.? Nope. Nope. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about two years now. About two years. All here in Dallas? No, I'm actually... I drove from OKC to do this. Kansas City? Wow, the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> Kansas City? No, OKC. Oklahoma City. Oh, OKC. <laughs> the, the, the state where everybody thinks we just ride horses and... You know. Nice tornadoes. <laughs> what do you do? Do you do you do you, do you do what do you do in Oklahoma City? Uh, I I just uh, you play I have for a the job thunder? at a restaurant, Caribbean food. Oh, nice. Yeah, Jaman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an employed black man. Yes. I love it. I love it. Heck yeah, that makes sense. It's 2019. You got this. Uh, I love it. I love the porn stepmom joke. Everything's fun. How old are you, John? Uh, I'm 28. 28. Fuck yeah. What else do you do in life? What else do you like to do? Uh, we met your girl. Just like everybody else here, I do music too on the side. Oh yeah, we <laughs> met your girlfriend of four years earlier on the show. Uh, <laughs> she talked about it. You are Mikey Pyrex, correct? You know what's fucked up about that? Whenever she said that, I was like, yo, that sounds like a fire rap name. I would listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey Pyrex. Uh, what type of music do you do? Uh, I rap, I produce, I sing a little bit. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. Is there, is there somewhere we can find your music? Uh, yeah, I'm Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. Uh, the project is called Teflo Dollar. T-E-F-L-O? Yeah. D-O-L-L-A-R? Yeah, there's just a space in between the... A space between. So you um. cover Dave Matthews. Yeah. yeah, that's my thing. You played violin for him at one point, didn't you? That's no. a weird <laughs> reference that... Would work better anywhere other than Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> Literally, anywhere else in the country, be like, boom. They're like, huh, 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 huh. I'll tell you what, that reference works well in Starbucks. Isn't yeah, it? I'll tell you. <laughs> Teflo Dollar, here's a little Motel Wakanda. You oh, know? shit. This is actually my most popular song. Really? Go ahead, play oh, it. Well, let's, uh, let's hear some of I it. I got right 4,000 streams, bitches. I'm trying to get the Kill Tony bump. Wow. Let's get look it. Look at this. <laughs> Motel Wakanda. Here he is from the great Teflo Dollar. Wow, this is interesting. We hey, your uh, web hosting bill. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Um, there oh, we go. I guess. Uh oh. I made the you, beat you too. Gonna, you gonna rap along with it or something? Have oh the crowd shit! Go crazy? No, that's a lot of pressure. Should I? If you want no. to. Oh God damn it! No, no. Or you could just <laughs> off it. No. Just, just listen. Hey. Cause my swag is too ill for that I might send a bill for that And when they get that invoice It's gonna be more than a bill for that In the top spot I might kill for that Little blood I might spill for that A little less 16 candles A little more Kyrie handles Rolling with vandals We be getting wow, a feel for that But I ain't got a feel for that You wanna win, take one to chin And you'll just have to deal with that Niggas really think that they own this flow But what about busy, Hold busy on, I'm gonna bone. stop you for just one second I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta just say You're unbelievable Can I... I want to do something fun though, because I'm watching. I'm watching my friend here, Bob, his head, listening to your music, watching you, and I just think you guys would make the best like music video together. Will you come up here, oh. and 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 you keep you keep rapping, but you just look out in the audience and do exactly what you were doing before. Just enjoy yourself. Go ahead. Yes. Go right ahead. I'm savage is all they come. I hope that you found yourself where you met me Cause we breaking all the rules, dog Soccer boy and rude boy So I'm not trying to drag me Bitch, I am not rude, Paul Pocket watches, ooh, ah Life's a bitch, we screwed up Wow Critical shit, we uh, not This is oh. fucking unbelievable I could watch this literally for the rest of my life Hell yeah, I like your style He called himself Salt and Pepper I like that. Oh my god! Instant, instant. That's great. <laughs> Everybody's phones are out there. <laughs> I got this. Is I gotta have my friends see what kind of party I'm at tonight. <laughs> Putting this on the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking white guy. Just <laughs> <laughs> a little motel Wakanda from you Teflo you Dollar featuring your name again, Billy. Billy what? Billy, Billy Cox. Cox, I bet it is, you son of a bitch. Wow. Do you perform uh, live a lot with uh, your music? 
yeah. You, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows? Uh, I, I do, yeah, I do a lot of shows at OKC. I did like one show in Seattle, a couple shows here in Texas, but I mostly play in OKC. Very cool, man. Well, we love it. Great, great, uh, fun stuff, comedy wise, and fucking great performance. There he is, John <laughs> McMillan. Everybody, hell yeah. Mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. One more time for Teflo Dollar, John McMillan. Let's do something a little bit fun. You know, I, I remember you from Houston. Your energy up here right now was incredible. I want to see 60 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the return of Billy Cox. Here we go. Here he is. Hello, everybody. Well, huh, a lot of talk about gender these days. Everybody has a different definition. I personally identify as androgynously, androgynously ambidextrous. I can throw like a girl with either hand. So I was starving yesterday, and I went out to my nearby firehouse subs. But it, but it had closed. It had burned down. So to kill time in line, I uh, was reading Reddit, and I read the most amazing fact that every week in China, 300,000 babies are born, and the vast majority of them are Asian. <laughs> I guess that goes to prove two Wongs don't make a white. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow. Billy Cox. You got one more? You want to do it? Yeah. All right. He's, he's, asking, he's asking for an encore performance. Like many of you out there, I did a lot of drugs at high school. I would have sex in the parking lot at noontime. God, I miss substitute teaching. Oh. You son of a bitch. Billy Cox, look at you. My goodness. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. One of the best performances of the night. And in the history of this show, you are by far one of the funniest grandmothers we've ever had on this show. That was your joke in Houston. So I, very I said good. that to you in yeah. Houston, really? Wow. Wow. You bring it out in me. There's something just. Jeremiah's father in Houston. Oh, That's you right. were? Yeah. What, what, what did you guys do? How do we know that? Uh, he just thought I looked like it. We, he was oh, yeah. Tall. He had a different haircut back then. That's, yes. the, that's Jeremiah had that haircut just a couple months ago. Yes. yes. Heck yeah. I was there when he was born. He didn't want to come out. <laughs> so the doctor reached in and grabbed him by the nose and pulled him out. Oh! oh. Hell yeah. My son. That doctor pulled hard. Wow. Billy motherfucking Cox. You are the dragon slayer here tonight. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here, Billy. Uh, so remind us, how old are you? Uh, God, I forgot. 67. 67 years old, everybody. Heck yeah. And you're from wh which part of Texas? Uh, Houston. Houston. So you made the drive up here today. Oh, yeah. For this. That is so cool. Five hours. Jesus. Five hour drive. Five hours. Wow. My well goodness. worth it. Heck yeah. How many were there's originals did you go through on that five hour drive? <laughs> Good question. <Yep. laughs> you actually thought about it for a second before you laughed about One, it. One, like oh. two, three. <laughs> 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 My goodness. So, Billy, uh, remind us of what you've done in your life of 67 years. I Tell us for record labels my whole life, so I worked with a lot of different bands from Elton John to U2 to oh, wow. Slipknot. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. So that was fun. I was what? doing promotions, setting up after party gigs, uh, doing meet and greets, getting them on the radio station to play. You wow. Know? Will you help us organize our meet and greet after tonight's show? Sure. Great. Sure. Yeah, That'll that's incredible. Fun. Little fun fact for you, the great and powerful Texas's very own Ryan J. Ebelt is sitting right there underneath that light. Made the trip out. The actual house artist is drawing tonight's episode in his hometown. 
And he also drew the, uh, a poster that we'll be selling after the show tonight, just yep. for Texas. We'll be sign if you get one, we'll sign them for you. We'll yeah. take a picture with you, all that good stuff. And our it's fun, going to be extra fun because now our meet and greet is going to be organized by the same guy that did Elton John's meet and greet. Yeah. You too, Slipknot. Our new meet and greet guy, Billy Cox. He also does meet and greets at Walmart's at this age, right? <laughs> 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 I love it. Billy, you got a wife, a husband. What are we talking about over here? I've been divorced uh, about five years after 35 years of marriage, and it's heavenly. Yeah. You you must have been sick of her after 35 years, right? We were sick of each other, so it was a great split. She got the beach house. I got the house. I I love it. Great deal. What do you you like to do now that uh, you're My separation did not go smoothly. Oh, it's a long story. That's a long story. So, uh, I mean, uh, fuck, not Aubrey. So, Billy, uh, what was one of, what's one of the main like guilty pleasures that you have now that you're uh, alone for the first time in 35 years? It's called dabs. Dabs? Get the fuck <laughs> Why would I did not see that coming at all? <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Vape pens. Vape pens. Uh, there's absolutely. There's a new uh, pot, a new joint. It's Moon Rocks in a joint. Yep. It's called it's Caviar. Yep. Oh, oh my god! You're one. Of, you're the coolest fucking guy in this whole party tonight. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Not sixty-seven you. year old fucking badass dabs. Look at you. I can't even do dabs. I can't even hang it's with you. Strong, yeah. There. I have to sit on a couch because you can fall over. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. 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 You have to sit on Hey, I don't touch those dabs. <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're like the Bill Nye of drugs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you know oh, if you're good. smoking reefer, you can actually fall over, kids? <laughs> <laughs> He's Bill High. Wow. So Billy Cox, that is so fucking cool. 35 year- years and now you're divorced. Uh, you've been taking your for hims. You jerk off regularly? Yes. What are we talking about? I found a category of porn that he's never seen. Yeah. What, yeah you uh, uh, what, what is that category of porn? It's called Time Stopped. Have you seen this red band? Time Stopped. Yeah. It's like a I like how he knows his audience. He goes, have you seen this red band? <laughs> 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 it's like a regular guy with a beautiful girl in a room. She regular guy with a beautiful with girl. Yeah. And she so what? She doesn't what? What? Nothing to do with him. All right. So he'll come out. He's got some kind of contraption. And he, he freezes stops. her and then he fucks her and she can't move. He freezes yeah. her. And he can I've seen out. this. <laughs> oh, way with her. My God. Are you serious? Yeah, they yeah. call it time, time stop. stop. I didn't know it had a name. That but used yeah. to be called rape is yeah. what it was called. <laughs> Where a guy tries to stop time. Rape stop. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Just fucking <laughs> back to the future. The rape edition. <laughs> hey, get into my DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's check in with Aubrey. I think this audience would really like to know when was the last time you kissed a woman? Whoa, there you go. There you go. Because we have a girl named Mary Jane here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Have it, that is a good question, uh, uh, Billy. Have you have you kissed a girl since your divorce? Yes, but I haven't had sex with one. So Mary Jane, wow, what? holy Mary shit, Jane wants to come up. <laughs> All right, this, this well, I think Mary Jane getting, is up for it. Uh, yeah, this guy's getting greedy now. He's like, I saw where the stakes were earlier. Let's right. raise them. Well, I I have kissed a woman, but I haven't bareback analed anyone today. Is there a woman in the house tonight <laughs> you stop it, Aubrey. that would like to kiss Billy Aubrey, Cox, Aubrey, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Aubrey, uh, uh, Aubrey, 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 what are you thinking? <laughs> if the woman would come up right now, <laughs> you're, I uh, will kill myself on this stage. Uh, I've been waiting for the right opportunity. <laughs> Let's go. This is what, Aubrey, we already did that this episode. Yeah. If we're going to do anything, then we should have a woman. If we were going to do anything, what we would do is we would have a woman come up here, and, and for our own entertainment, we would reenact. We would have him kiss a girl, but we would have to do it time stop version. Ah, that's great. You're a good wingman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're going to need a wingman when you're being carried to heaven very soon. So. Oh, my God. Come on. But I mean, poor Mary Jane over there. I mean, I don't you know. know. There's probably not a. 
Wait, what? She <laughs> said she volunteers. Oh, my God. Up. All right. Okay. Here, This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. The new... Fort Worth, Queen of Kill Tony, uh, Mary Jane is back. I'm so jealous. I need I to asked, quit the I show. I asked this guy what he uh, what he fucking loves, and he said dabs, vape Whoa, pens, sorry, and we're finding sorry, out sorry, that he loves everything that has to do with Mary Jane here tonight. Yeah. Because. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> My goodness, today's episode sponsored by ForHims.com. Clearly. Uh, Billy Cox is hard as a rocks right now. So uh, let's do it. Let's uh, let's let's have some fun here. You know what? I'm gonna come out from behind this table. You guys stop it. You have a time stop. I'm going to. Uh, yeah, we have to do this time stop style. <laughs> so here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna direct this little short for us. All right. So when I say action, you're going to hit on her, right? Right. And, uh, and then the crowd's going to laugh because it's going to be funnier than they think it's going to be. <laughs> and then I'm going to hand the mic to you, but you have to s- I'm not going to hand it to you. I'm just going to hold it in front of you. And you have to sort of reject him. You have to be like, ah, I'm sorry. You can't have me, old man, or something like that. But in your own, your own special way. And then you, <laughs> we need a, uh, <laughs> we need a, <laughs> like an act- here, you could use my phone. I'm going to pull out the actual stopwatch app. (laughs) Here we go. I'm starting the clock. Now, your time is rolling. And uh, it's going to go a little something like uh, like this. And then you stop the time, right? Here, you want to hold on to it? Sure. You hold on to that, but sort of point it towards the... But when you stop the time, you need to sort of go like this so that the crowd can see it like that. Uh, Like that. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first ever Kill Tony time stop. Hey, Red, do you have a grandfather's fetish? I told you it was going to be funnier than you expected. Hold on, try and think of something clever. No, you're good. What if I do? What? Wait, wait. <laughs> that's a, no, that's not your character. Him, you have, have to reject him. God, you are a dirty little girl. <laughs> this is unbelievable. You have too much skin for that. Whoa. All right, what do you got there? Oh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh you just stopped the time. So what happens now? Now? <laughs> You have to freeze. He's going to kiss you. That sounds a lot like date rape. Okay, well, if you say that, then it's weird. <laughs> it was already weird. Okay, just say that, just say that uh, Kill Tony is not responsible for anything that happens here. <laughs> Kill Tony is not responsible for any of the actions or repercussions okay. that happen here tonight. Thank Very you. good. Oh, got it. She said that way too many times in her yeah. life. <laughs> she recited that like her Miranda writes. All right, time has stopped. I plead the fifth. Oh, shit. Have you ever plead? Uh, you're about to plead the 65th right here. I thought it was 67. No, it is, but uh, I, my thing was funnier. You have to repeat, like, comedically. It has to have, like, uh, sort of the same sound for it to work. You're going to learn all this when I move you in with me and my wife. <laughs> um, no, just kidding. Time stop. Um, okay. You're frozen, though. You have to be frozen. Yeah, like you that. have to be frozen. No, you know, haven't, haven't you ever time stopped before, you fucking little firecracker? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Time has stopped. Billy, may you plan to kiss on this girl. <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. She's stuck, Billy. Here, put your lips closer together. All right. Free, she's frozen. Billy Cox already came in his pants, everybody. Wow! Come here. You're, you're a legend. Mary Jane, everybody. Wow. It's your birthday? Oh, that is your real name. No, of course it is. You're a sweet fucking little thing. One more time for Mary Jane, guys. The star of tonight's show. 
this is an unbelievably frightening episode of Kill Tony. Uh, I've never seen a young lady get kissed by a pregnant elderly man before. Um, Billy, you having the night of your goddamn life tonight? Oh, yes. Yes. (laughs) I love your enthusiasm, dude. Well, uh, I wish I would have stopped you before you kissed or it got weird at that point. Um, But we all learned things while running shows. You know what I mean? We had the time. We were good at the time stop. We should have ended it there. Uh, got very Jeffrey Epstein uh, when, at that point. It seemed yeah, like there was I, a little I'm, bit of an age gap there. I'm replaying the video. It's terrifying. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Please, <laughs> welcome I mean, to another the, episode of Please Don't Post That. The, the, the time stop element made it the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. She voluntarily said she'd kiss him, <laughs> and then so we're great. like, no, we're going to make this creepier. Yeah. <laughs> Don't move. He's going to be the one that makes the move on you. Wow. Time stop porn is going to go up so much in the next couple this weeks, man. Gonna, this yeah. whole room's going to look it oh, up. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The Kill Tony bum. Thanks. Yep. To, to, shout out to Time Stop Pornography. Yeah. yeah. Uh, giving the bum to the ones that matter the most. I, I want a bum. Wow. Uh, you, uh, you, Billy Cox, are so much fun. Uh, thank you so much for oh, coming yes. on this show again. You are, uh, you are just an absolute goddamn inspiration oh thanks thank you tony i love it there he is billy cox everybody healthy having fun at 65 you guys want to go to the bucket one more time huh You guys excited about this? Yeah. All right, put your hands together for Saul Fianaka, everybody. Saul Fianaka. One more time for your final comedian of the night, Saul Fianaka, everybody. I got a call from this guy, Victor, who works for the IRS, and I'm getting $10,000. He called me up and he said, hello, this is Victor with the IRS. I was like, cool. He said, this is the American Revenue Service. And right there, I thought something was up, but I decided to let him keep going. And he said, the reason for our call is to tell you that your account has been gifted one time $10,000 from the IRS. I said, Victor, that's amazing. He went, oh, yes, you're welcome. I said, Victor, I got to ask the why me. He said, the reason why the IRS has selected you is because you are a good citizen. You always pay your taxes. You're not a convicted felon. I said, Victor, let me stop you right there. I said, I am a convicted felon. Um, (laughs) And I said, I'm also a murderer, and I've killed people. And Victor goes, come on, man. No, you're not. (laughs) I said, no, no, I'm not. And I don't really believe that you work for the IRS. He said, I I do. (sighs) He said, I do, I do work for the IRS. I said, if you work for the IRS, answer a question. He said, I'd tell you anything. I said, Victor, what is my name? And he went, oh. Man, you're a name piece of shit. And then he hung up the phone. Wow, look at that. Saul Fianaka. Sal. That was great. How's it going, Sal? Good, man. Been doing comedy a while? Three years. Three years, all here in Dallas? Yeah. How old are you? 28. What do you do for work? I work at a hotel. What do you do at the hotel? I'm the assistant general manager. Wow, my Thank goodness. You. Look at you. Thank you. Really wow, I am also an assistant manager. Uh oh. <laughs> I know your pain. Yeah. So fun. Uh, how long have you worked at the hotel? I've been in hospitality for 10 years. My goodness. Wow. Uh, how, about the, how about other things? What else are you into? You look like you love food. Yeah. <laughs> Would I you? actually just lost 60 pounds, though. Really? Really? Yeah, thank you. The shirt's too big. Um, keto. Heck yeah. You mm. like it? You enjoy it? For the first two weeks, I had diarrhea. Uh-huh. Um, I was calling it the diarrhea diet. But right. I have I diarrhea love- every day. I don't know why. <laughs> you you oh, guys ever do. find a dead body at the hotel? You ever have we to- did, yeah. yeah. Okay, a guy killed himself, hung himself on a tree out back one time. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, and then his brother, for some reason, the next day was like there, and he's like, I'm going to chop down that fucking tree. <laughs> and we're like, okay. Like, <laughs> did you chop it down? No, he was just venting. I, right. I mean, he was upset. 
Right. Um, we found a, a body in a car in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. And dude, management didn't see it for like a month, and it was su- oh. it was summer. Wow. And it was bad. Oh, oh my goodness! Like beef jerky, or <laughs> you could Christ. barely call it a body, bro. Oh, Looked like a goodness. It probably smelled worse than one of the breakfast sandwiches at Coffee Bean. <laughs> Whoa! Throwing Whoa. digs at a Coffee Bean out of nowhere. My goodness, Aubrey, showing that it's a fucking gangland war over here. So, Sal, you've been doing keto for a while. You've lost sixty pounds. Uh, what was your diet like before that? What were you doing? Oh man. Yeah. Uh, Chinese buffet, like a couple times a week. Yeah. 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 I got some buffet buddies here. Is that really? Yeah. Is that them over there? It's my buffet buddies. It's a bunch of fat guys over there? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Chinese buffet. <laughs> Hell yeah. My goodness. So uh, what do you do now to fill in the uh, fill in the space of that I still addiction? go. I just don't get the breaded items. I get right. like the pork and stuff like that. How long you been on yeah. keto? How many months? Incredible. Like, Four months. Oh, wow. wow. Isn't that crazy? How long yeah. did you last on it before you S- turned back eight. into a Sal Seven or eight Fianaka? months. <laughs> oh, really? How'd yeah. it go? It went great, but then I plateaued. Like I just stopped losing weight, and then it was like, why am I doing this they for They call a it a whoosh. Like, if you just wait long enough, you'll lose, like, seven pounds. Yeah, I, yeah. I lost uh, about 50 pounds, and yeah. then I gained it all back immediately when I quit. Yeah. <laughs> Red band. Whoopsie. I had a hot dog with a bun on the 4th of July, and like my pants almost blew up. Yeah. Is that yeah. true? I, I felt like I was swelling up. Wow. Yeah, it looks like you still are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine Thank what you, you looked like before. I got stung by a bee. Do you, drunk on, do you drink on keto? I feel like when you're off sugar, your body like isn't as like swollen. I just know how I feel. Right. I'm not a doctor. No, it's definitely definitely something to that. What was that answer? <laughs> For sure. You're, you're saying it like you're, you, you're like Red Band's taking offense <laughs> at this. What do you do for fun, Sal, when you're not uh, when you're not eating or doing stand up or working at the hotel? Man, I do a lot of stand up. Yeah, other than that. Yeah. I knew this. I had all night to prepare for this part and I still have nothing. It's really about like what you do in an average day. Like, what'd you do today when you woke up? What'd you do exactly? I what went straight from work here. Okay, yeah. so like when when you have a day off, what exactly do you do during the day? You I wake ha- up. It's the first thing you do when you wake up. I beat off. Really? Immediately? I mean, while still laying in bed? Yeah. You just, you're laying there. What do you have? Do you have an iPad, a phone, laptop, just my phone. your phone, and you put it up on your chest, or like oh, you, you, no, you, you, you could probably hold chest. it in your belly button just and just hand go freehand, right? You have one of those fat guy fucking gaping <laughs> belly buttons. Yeah, yeah. One of those things you that could you eat just cereal out of that thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you ever do that? No. <laughs> wow. So how do you hold uh, how do you hold your phone when you masturbate? Just you one hand for one thing. Left and hand, one hand, and then what the do you do? Thing. What do you do? You just spit on your right hand. Spit. No. Just you just go raw dog. Yeah. Just straight with the hand. It's me. You know up what I mean? and down. You circumcised or uncircumcised? Circumcised. My dad circumcised. is Wow. It's so it's weird. like the only part of you that doesn't have skin hanging off it. That's <laughs> impressive. It's incredible. Yeah. Wait, wow. uh, he, uh, he he kind of blew by something uh, while you were talking. He said uh, he wanted to let everybody know his dad, his dad is uncircumcised. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about your dad's pee-pee for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah, how do you know about that? I saw it when I was a kid. Yeah, how many times? Like the one time? <laughs> one time is all it took. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you've ever seen one, one time is really all it takes. Yeah, what did you think it was? A penis? Yeah, just different. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dad, you have a penis, but different. <laughs> smells. I never asked him about it. You want to call him right now and ask him about it? <laughs> what would I say? I mean, you could easily just you call him, you put him on speakerphone, and you say, Dad, you know, I noticed your penis when I was a kid and uh, that it wasn't circumcised. And, uh, and then you say something like, uh, what, was, what was up with that? Right? I'll fucking do it. All right, do it, dude. Here, put the put the phone up to the bottom part and make it really loud. Make sure it's turned all the way up, okay? Oh, I gotta access my buttons. Dad. Yes. Hey, Dad. Uh, I'm on the Kill Tony podcast, and Tony wanted me to call you and ask you how come I wasn't circumcised. You were. No, wait. 
How come I was circumcised and you weren't? That's I'm sorry. Let me rephrase. No, 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 no. Don't just t- let's just take you out of it, Sal. Let's ask your dad about that meat hanger of an uncircumcised penis. Uh, do you do you love having an uncircumcised penis? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Aubrey, assistant manager here at Starbucks. I've got your son. And we were all just curious about what, uh, how come your penis is uncircumcised, sir? Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to answer that question. <laughs> uh, if we do not get an answer, we will hurt your son. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are the only people in the world that matter right now, sir. Okay, we need an answer. How come you didn't get cut as a kid? We're very curious. Because I was born in a different country where they did not do that. Hey! Yeah! Thank you, Mr. Fianaka. We love that. Hell yeah, hang up on him before he c- calls his mafia buddies and we all fucking die. Last thing I need is a fucking, the, the father of Sal Fianaccia coming after me. <laughs> That's the truth, these though. Fucking, these fucking motherfucking mutts call me, ask me about my fucking uncircumcised cock. Send them down there. Where the fuck are they? Hyenas? Hyenas. Send them in the fucking hyenas. He's got fucking fat Sal hostage. I do that. It's a good Pesci. Am I close to right about I that? I do a mean Pesci. Yeah. What, what, what does your dad do for work? Um, he retired from De- General Motors. Oh, uh, yeah. That's mafia for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> waste disposal. Hell yeah. All right, Sal. Well, thanks for coming on the show. So much fun. Uh, so much fun. I don't know. I, I, just, I, I just feel like, you know. What? <laughs> What? Heck, <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? No. How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Wow, that's pretty incredible. I mean, you guys must have had your uh, you guys must have had uh, uh, loads of fun here tonight then. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like we're just—I feel like we're just missing something. But you—you you know what? Let's do something here. There's a guy who's been on this show a couple times before. He became the thing of legends here on uh, on Kill Tony because at one point in his life he dyed his eyes black. Um, he's been on this show quite a few times. He's—he's—he's—he's uh, he's, he's, he's a very, very scary, interesting character. Uh, he said that he wrote a new minute for tonight. He is born and raised in Houston, Texas. He traveled all the way here. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dexter St. Jock. Here he is, everybody. Live in Fort Worth, Texas. Hey, everybody. I'm not suicidal. But I do like to suffocate myself with a belt when I masturbate. So I always keep a note in my pocket in case something goes wrong. (laughs) This guy knows what I'm talking about. This isn't one of those notes. I'm sorry. Now that we've all had a few laughs, I need to do my ad read. Dexter St. Jock is brought to you by Steakums. What? They're 100% beef, and it's 100% delicious. Can we legally say either one of those things? Okay, just keep reading. Got it. Uh, What's next? Oh, cool. Dexter St. Jock is brought to you by ShopSquad.com. Go to ShopSquad.com to get the latest Kill Tony and Death Squad merchandise. Use the coupon code googly eyes to get a free sticker on your first order over fifty dollars. Why is the Wow Wow the bear is angry, Dexter. That was just as bad as it gets. My god, I, I let me ask you one more time. How many of you guys like it when comedians do bad on this show? Liars! 
Liars. Wow. Dexter, with your glasses on, you look like the father of Dexter St. Jock. I uh, bought these at a local <laughs> bodega. Wow, yeah. Dude. Just for the comedic effect of putting on glasses to read that, I can't see shit with these on. When do you think that comedic effect part kicks in? <laughs> You're adorable, Dexter. You look like, uh, you look like uh, what? M- All right. I don't know. So, Dexter, what did you think was going to happen during that ad read part of that uh, of that set? The beginning went good. You had a note. It would have been funny if you went with the thing that you were talking about that you had set up completely. Like, had you read a note that said something like, "Hey, it looks yeah. like uh, it looks like you've caught me at a bad time" or something like, yeah. "Accident, clearly I accidentally whatever something fucking anything." You could have written the end to the beginning thing that you s- set up. Yeah, I might revisit that some other time. <laughs> All right. But I wanted an excuse to hand the audience a secret note. Uh-huh. All right. Wow, this is some type of escape room that we're all stuck yeah. in right now. Uh, <laughs> this is frightening. Can, well, Dexter, I mean, is there, is there anything else that... Uh, yeah, Aubrey? Can, yeah, can you say anything to, that doesn't make you uh, look as crazy as you are? <laughs> Not typically. Man, I am terrified. What's the most human thing about you, Dexter St. Jock? <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, Dexter, you gave it another shot. You wrote another minute. Congratulations. That's Dexter St. Jock, everybody. We got to do it. We just can't end a show like that. We want to go to this bucket one last fucking time. All right. This is it, though. I'm fucking serious. No matter what happens, the bucket of destiny will decide. I'm digging deep. You guys sure? One more time? All right, this is it. Put your hands together for your final comedian of this. Fort Worth Kill Tony goes by the name of Pang Dang. Pang Dang. I like it. I like it. The name has energy. P E N G. D-A-N-G. Pang dang, everybody. Here we go. The one, the only, Pang dang. Fuck yeah. Come on, guys. Make some noise for Pang dang. I'm Pung. I am from China. English is confusing to me sometimes. Uh, Like, I don't understand why certain pants are called leggings, but gloves are not called fingerings. (laughs) (laughs) To me, Chinese makes more sense. You know, the Chinese word for for gloves is called um, shou tao, which literally means hand condoms. (laughs) And it makes sense to me that explains why I don't like to wear gloves. because I can't feel anything. (laughs) English is cute. You guys have 26 letters. You made an entire language. And I don't don't know what kind of weed my ancestors were smoking, but it took them 50,000 characters to make up a goddamn language. You know what that means to us? That means we can never have an alphabet song in Chinese. All right, thank you. Wow, Pang Dang. That was thank great. Thank you, Mang. Look at you. You're unbelievable. Thank you. Are you from here in Texas? Uh, I was born and raised in China. I came here a year ago. Wow. Uh, do you have any younger sisters? Okay, just asking. Red Band, why don't you just... <laughs> couldn't wait. You couldn't wait 45 uh, seconds it, until he was Texas. done. You could, you, we couldn't acknowledge Impossible. the fucking the show format part before you start horning out over there? <laughs> you have any little sisters that like fucking guys shaped like this? <laughs> they do One child policy. I'm the only kid. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> You're the chosen Got one. Ghost I like sisters. It. Made in China. I like that. Do you fall apart easily? I'm sorry? <laughs> Because you're made in China, I asked if you fall apart easily. Uh. <laughs> hey, um, it's so fun. So you moved here a year ago. You're, it's unbelievable English. Uh, your 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 delivery is so crisp, which clearly comes from Chinese delivery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How long have. of a set can you do? My guess is like thirty minutes or less. 
another delivery joke. You ever walk anybody in the audience? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've got a, a, a joke question. Uh, first off, I really liked your set. Uh, Thank you. And uh, have you ever, uh, I don't know if your joke is longer because you only did a minute, but do you ever uh, try to sing the alphabet song with a yes, lot of, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Can we hear some of that? Yes, of course, yes. Yeah. Um, so if there ever is a Chinese alphabet song, you know where that, I would play that at a strip club <laughs> and get a lap dance for that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Imagine, imagine somebody had to dance to the Chinese alphabet song. Be like, Hey, honey, that's the end of my shift, all right? Amber, you're up next. Oh, my God, it's that Chinese guy again. <laughs> Stretching it out. Pang Dang's a monster. Heck yeah. Wow. He's a Starcraft. That's incredible. You're like if Dane Cook cooked dog. <laughs> Act outs and everything. My goodness. That's incredible. What a fun, fun way to bring this show to a big end. What, do we, what else do we, should we know about you, Pang Dang? You do any crazy Chinese things here in Texas? What do you like to do for fun? Uh, I skateboard. Really? Yes. My goodness, that's incredible. Are, is it? A, I've never seen an Asian skateboarder before. Is that? Do you skateboard everywhere? Is that because you cause too many car accidents? What, is, <laughs> what else do you do other than skateboarding? Uh, just stand-up comedy. I, Heck yeah! You have a girlfriend out here? No. No? Really? Huh. That's a, you, you, you ever make out with a girl named Mary Jane before? <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> you do want to? Is yeah. that what you said? Uh, yes. <laughs> dang, dang. I mean, the, uh, we got to do it. Mary Jane, I mean. <laughs> dang, dang. Pang Dang's about to have a goddamn water park in his underwear right now. Mary Jane, this is the most amazing you thing. You guys are really starting to whore me out now. Hey, I love it. You're adorable. I'm a software developer. Thank you. Oh, my God. You, she just said, hold on a second. She just said she's a software developer. I thought for a second she was about to say she's a sophomore in high school. <laughs> I was literally about to just fucking light this room on fire and run for my life. Just start running in the direction of California. Like Forrest Gump style. Just like, and then that was the end of that part of my life. I had a podcast that was doing pretty good all the way up until then. Then I had to start anew. Became a fisherman out on the Bayou Bay. Turns out I ran the wrong direction. Started working in Louisiana. Uh, Pang Dang, have you ever kissed an American girl before? Yes, I have. Uh, that, that, man, you really know how to work the room. Uh, I'm going to ask you again, but this time you say, no, I'm so Chinese. Hey, Peng Dang. P Peng Dang, you ever kissed an American? You've only been here one year. Have you ever kissed an American girl before? No, never. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm so Chinese, I haven't. Well, you know what, Pang Dang? You did it. You had a great set. How about a little kiss from Mary Jane? I'll do this on one favor, and you need to call up my friend, Ruslan Olenek. No. No, we can't do that, Mary Jane. I knew I did. I. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. Who? What? Your friend. I'm going to give your friend a, uh, a free Kill Tony Ryan J.E. Belt poster print autographed by the cast after this. But we have to end the show, and there's only one way to end it, and that's by you giving Pang Dang his first American kiss. Mary Jane, do what you do. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. There she is, Mary Jane, everybody! There's Pang Dang! Come on, make some fucking noise for Pang Dang! You did it, Pang Dang. Congratulations. Get back there. He's at Pang Dang 1, P E N G D A N G 1. Hey, look, it's Ryan J. Ebo. Ryan, come take a bow. Come up here. Texas is own Ryan J. Ebel. Look at that drawing he made tonight. Come see a close up at the meet and greet after the show that's going to be organized and kept in all one straight long line by the great Billy Cox. How about one more time? How loud can this place get for Jeremiah Watkins? Reagan Watkins has their new album out now. A new episode of Jeremiah Wonders out now. Reagan Watkins is on tour. They're going to Phoenix, Arizona. It's a big deal. We're all over the road. You're going to, when are you guys in uh, Phoenix? Uh, July 18th, and then we're in uh, Huntington Beach on the 20th and doing a live Jeremiah Wonders on uh, July uh, 19th at the Pack Theater in L.A. That's right. And also, Jeremiah and I are going to be doing stand-up comedy here for four shows tomorrow night and the night after that. Four shows, the bunch of new material and fun stuff, and uh, and uh, the great Gage Tyrena opening up that show. Gage the Beast Tyrena. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm also doing stand-up comedy uh, by myself in uh, Miami and West Palm Beach coming up in August and September. Red Bands in San Diego, August 17th, on a solo show down there, one night only. Uh, and uh, fun stuff. Philly is September 25th. It's Pittsburgh, the 26th for the Kill Tonys, and 26th and 27th in Pittsburgh for stand-up comedy shows that I'll be headlining there. And, of course, Kill Tony Mania in San Francisco, the return this October, Sacramento, just before oh, that. Wait. Six Kill Tonys in three days. Yes. Uh, Fort Worth, we did it again. I love you guys so Thanks, much. Guys. Brian Redband, we love you. Good night.